All right, IED, we're going to be talking about troubleshoot and assembly. This is activity 2.4.1, and I'm going to focus specifically on the execute part of the project. And this is going to be our deliverables that we're going to have to turn in for our project, which is, uh, I think we'll have several days to finish working on this. Uh, check Canvas for the due date on the assignment. And let's see here. Uh, it looks like for our trammel toy, that we're trying to fix because remember our trammel toy is kind of messed up a little bit so we're going to have to go through uh, the details of trying to fix it let's see if i can actually grab our trammel toy here um, oh right it's down here there we go i was looking at the drawing and not the actual here we go. So this is what we're going to have to try to fix, and this is where we get into the execute, where we actually have to uh, do the fixing and actually get started with it. So a couple of things that we need uh, is in the execute phase, I would like a short structural analysis. Uh, even if you don't have the physical parts on hand with you, if you're a virtual student, you can still count up the total parts. And that's what I mean by a short structural analysis is I really just need you to uh, add up what all of the parts are and how many of each part that you have. Uh, if you have an assembly file, they're already, you can pull them apart and you can see where all of the different parts are so you can count them up and make a parts list for each one. So that is what I'll want for the short structural analysis. Okay, uh, I'll also want a measurement of each corner block. So if you are virtual, um, I'm going to have you, instead of using a set of calipers to measure them out, you're going to have to use the measure tool in Onshape. So let me see if I can, I clicked the wrong button. Here we go. Can you tell that it's the morning? And here we go. All right, so in the bottom right-hand side, down here where it says show measure details, you can use this tape measure and you can click on one side and then the other side uh, to get it uh, a, a measurement across from edge to edge. So if you click on one edge and then you click diagonally down on the other one, it's going to give you a straight line diagonal path. So make sure that you're going from edge to edge flat across to get a value for it. Okay, to get the radius values, you may have to uh, make a drawing of it to get the radius values for it. Uh, and if you want to make a drawing for it, the easiest way to do that is when you're in the assembly file, you can right click on the part and then there's a create drawing of said corner part. You don't want to make a drawing of the entire thing, you want to just create a drawing of just the part. So whenever you click on that, what it will do is it will create a drawing for you to where you can actually look at this. It's, it's going to set you up to automatically the front view. Remember, you can click and then click away from it and then you can create a top view and then click and click away from it and that will give you a side view and then you can click and click away from it and that will give you a um, what's that called isometric view okay and then you can use the measuring tape and you can actually measure specific distances here as well too um, you can also just use the measuring tape on the uh, trammel toy itself and that should give you values so like if you click on the measuring tape and then you click on the radius yeah, it tells you right here that the radius is a uh, quarter inch, so you can do that instead. Uh, the drawing may be helpful for the next part, though. So for the next part, um, we're measuring the corner blocks. We've got that. Uh, we need an annotated isometric sketch of each corner block with top, front, and side views as necessary. So remember, these are going to be the fixed blocks that you're going to create, okay? These are going to be the fixed blocks, not the messed up blocks, okay? Oh, no, 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 I lied to you. I'm sorry. Don't, don't listen to me. Uh, this is going to be an is annotated isometric sketch of each corner block as it is janky. Uh, because what you're going to do is you're going to put in notes that's going to show the structural deficiencies and how you're going to correct that structural deficiency. In other words, how does it not fit on the base plate and what are you going to do to fix it? So you're going to have to make an annotated isometric sketch of the janky part and then you're also going to have to write notes on what you're going to do to fix on it. Okay, and you can just type these notes up in the comments section to me, or you can um, write it as a Google Doc, or you can just put the notes in on the drawing itself. Because uh, remember, you can add notes in Onshape as well, too. Uh, so you can literally just type on the drawing file if you needed to. So whenever you have the corner guide block, you can click on the, let's see, where'd it go? Um, 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 is this it? Yeah, type on the, the A button, and then whenever you click on it, you can type notes here. And if you need to extend it out, you can click and drag this out. 
Okay, so you don't have to type it on a separate sheet of paper if you don't want to. You can put those notes literally on the drawing, and that's perfectly fine. And let's see, your last thing that we need is um, a justification of the material choice or an alternate material. In class, we're 3D printing these, so you have your two options of PLA and thermal polyurethane, or TPU. Uh, we call it flexible filament in the classroom, but it's TPU. Um, or if you wanted to try to make it out of an alternate material, you can uh, try to make a justification of why you want it to be made out of an alternate material. And with all of these, that will be all of the deliverables that I need for the execute. So a short part list, measurement of the janky blocks, and an isometric sketch of the janky blocks. You can use Onshape for this isometric sketch, or you can do it by hand. Either way is fine by me. Uh, a justification of the material choice, and then notes for how you're going to actually fix it. And that's all that I'm going to need. So you guys have a great afternoon, and I will talk at you guys later.